models in the streets and we're just like and then the police show up like i'm not doing this anymore like this is crazy you, we we can get in big trouble we were paid for like hours to do this <laughs> My channel if you're new here my name is Nancy Tigers and if you've already been here before then welcome back guys make sure that you hit the subscribe button that you hit the bell notification and that you give this video a like when you subscribe when you hit the bell notification you will get notified every time I upload a new video and that's just awesome okay you'll be the first there to watch it and to comment yeah Make sure you check the links in the description guys and uh, so I thought it would be interesting and it would be fun to talk about the time where I was hired to do a modeling gig that was actually illegal. <laughs> I wish it was a joke but it wasn't and this is crazy. I have so many story times guys by the way so let me know down in the comments like if you guys like story times because I enjoy doing them. I enjoy talking about my stories. I uh, well saying my stories whatever. I enjoy watching them so let me know but um yeah this shirt I love this shirt but damn it's like woo. fast forward to the beginning of the story I actually moved to Montreal twice <laughs> so I'm not from Montreal but I moved here a long time ago and uh, I moved here twice and we'll get into that story later on if you guys are interested actually I will because it's like there's so many stories and uh, this is a good one I mean it was a good one what I moved to Montreal for my first time <laughs> Second time, sorry. Uh, first time didn't count, but we'll get into that another time. So I moved to Montreal. I move with my grandmother and she's awesome and I'm enjoying it and I'm trying to, I find work, but of course I wanted to pursue more into acting and modeling because that's like one of the reasons why I was so attracted to Montreal. One of the reasons, but um, I really wanted to do that like I came here and I was like let's do it you know I had an agency that I really liked I love the lady she was awesome and she actually which is really weird she like hired me at the same time that I was modeling for her was she the one that got me that gig though I'm trying to think I think she might have been the one so that's a whole other story about that agency that we can get off into another time because it's um wow I like left that place i was so angry there's so many things Woo! we'll get into that other story as i said she asked me if i would wanted to do a a modeling gig for this really special event that they were doing and it was really really cool so the event was actually in a park in montreal downtown which was really awesome they like had amazing designers and there was like catwalk in this like there's like a catwalk in the street and they had was it bar food like what was it i remember there was like places to grab some stuff like there was bars and stuff wow my brain is playing tricks right now so much because I'm debating if it actually happened or not. Not meaning like, oh, I lied about this whole story, but like if the event actually happened. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, it did. Woo! I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Am I daydreaming? They're, they were setting up some huge stages in the middle of the park and there was gonna be like a few sets of, of bars in the middle of the, uh, well, around the event. And uh, I wasn't hired to be a model on stage. I was hired to be a kind of a barmaid type of thing. So I was, and it wasn't like I had to make drinks and stuff. It was like pretty much like, you know, packs of stuff that I had to sell and it was like really easy. But also for the that I had to promote the event I had to be a promoter for the event so I was pretty much like well I'm a model for the event so come join me and like I had these flyers and I had to pass them around so me being new in Montreal not really knowing like I did some promo stuff and uh, it's fine but when I did that event for me I'm getting hired to do a big event I'm getting hired with other models to promote and for me nothing goes oh this isn't legal like I shouldn't be doing this like it's not you're not allowed type of thing you know like I trust the I trust the agency I trust what they tell me what they asked me to do and it's pretty awesome and it was really good so there's something it was a few was it a few days I think it was like two days two days of promo and then one day where it was the event yeah two one or two days of promo we had to do like hours of promo and when I say promo I don't mean like talking about it on Facebook I mean legit in streets promo so so we're wearing like really nice stuff and we're like really nice or like we're all you know dressed up and we're all looking good and we're you know we're models in the streets and we're just like promoting the event that's gonna happen real soon I don't think I have to tell you what we were doing right 
Do you guys know? Let me down in the comments. I'll wait a few seconds. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wasn't doing anything bad. But I had to pass flyers. I've seen this in New York. Like, everyone passes flyers. I've seen it. It's a thing. I also think I've seen it in Montreal. People passing flyers. A lot of people do that. But, so we're passing flyers. We're passing flyers. And we're asking people to come to the event. And we're doing this whole thing. And then, the police show up. And uh, we're just like, hi, what are you guys doing? Well, we're passing flyers for this event that's gonna happen right here, blah, blah, blah. And we explain, like we always did to all the other people. They look at us and they go, you have to stop right now. Do you guys know this is illegal? No. If we knew it was illegal, we would probably not be doing it. You know what I'm saying? We are hired to pass flyers on the busiest street of Montreal, not even knowing that what we were doing was illegal. Look at my face. When I, when they told me this, when the police came up and said, you have to stop right now, they looked at us and said, if we catch you again, like, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> So me and the girls are like completely shocked. We go to the event and we say, we aren't allowed to do this. We got stopped by the police. They told us to stop or we would get, did they say they would arrest us? I don't really remember, but I know it was like, I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, this is crazy. You, we, we can get in big trouble. This is not okay. And they go, oh yeah, we know it's illegal. We know we're not allowed. What? One. You knew it wasn't allowed, and you still wanted us to do this. You didn't... <clears throat> Two, you didn't tell us. <sighs> do you know how many reasons why number two makes it wrong? Because one, maybe, just maybe, some of us would have said no. Two, Maybe we would have done it because we're getting paid and this is a freaking nice event to put on your CV, we thought, but we would have been careful or we would have, you know what I mean? Like we wouldn't have wanted to be caught so we wouldn't have been doing it like this in front of everybody and when the cops are there, keep doing it like crazy people. <laughs> we would have probably been a little more like doing it different, you know what I mean? Like. <sighs> And three, maybe we could have done it differently. So now, now that we know this, we tell them, they're like, yeah, we knew that. Like, just be careful, keep going, blah, blah, blah. They're giving us the, pa the pamphlets and they're telling us to keep going just to be careful and to go. So go do it. Like, uh, it's your job. We're paying you to do this. Oh my goodness. So the girls and I talk. And we pretty much decided that the best thing was not to stay on a corner, but to walk around. So we've decided together to walk around and approach and give flyers to people who were interested. So we would walk around and give the flyer and then the person would be like, we would tell them like, oh, this is a modeling event for this thing. And we would tell them. So if they didn't want it, they wouldn't take it and throw it on the floor. They would just be like, no, thank you. But if they were interested, they would take it. So there wouldn't be the littering, which was, I think, one of the biggest issue of why we weren't allowed. Because most, a lot of people will just take it and be like, and throw it on the floor, which why? One, give it back, don't take it, or throw it in the recycling, or keep it in your thing and throw it in the recycling. Don't like litter. But that was one of the things. So we would like be asking people, oh, there's this event, do you want a flyer? And then like, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we ended up going to a restaurant, went to eat, and we like, we took it down like notches. Not like a notch. We took it down notches. And we went to chill at a restaurant. We went to do stuff and we like I said, for the rest of the day because we were paid for like hours to do this. So it was like, well, we gotta stay until I think it was five or something or six or it's like crazy. We like the whole day. So we're like, anyways. And you know what? Was it that event that I ended up by not being paid? or underpaid because the event didn't go as they planned and like 
stuff happened that supposed to be or a sponsor didn't there was something there was an issue and I ended up by either not getting paid or underpaid I wish I could find the details of this I will go on my email I will go I know which if I got that I would probably be in text I wonder if I still have because I have a lot of like things from my modeling stuff like my my contracts but I lost a lot of stuff too so I will try and see if I can find an email or something which I highly doubt that I got an email it could be though it could be I'm gonna look into it I probably was a text though since I was like really close to her I think it might have been a text so I remember writing to her something like when I anyways we can get into that this is a story about the time I got hired for something illegal to do something illegal I know like the, the way I'm saying it like illegal oh my god it's like so bad right <laughs> like I know it's not that bad which thank god because <laughs> it was that if it was worse than that I would have said oh no thank you <laughs> if I knew it was like something really like mm, no thank you I'm gonna skip my turn but uh yeah that's the story of that <laughs> oh my goodness I love how back then it was like I didn't, whoa no, get off the mic. anyhow I hope you enjoyed this story let me know down below what you think and what you would have done in my in my situation and let me know like um yeah if you guys like these stories and stuff make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet hit that bell notification if you haven't yet and uh comment share this video share my videos please because we are trying to grow and every time you share more people will you'll reach more people and you're really helping me out so it's i'm very uh, thankful for all the likes and all the shares and i hope to see you for my next video which should be very soon bye guys